guys, I'm back with another video. We're going to get straight into this video. Um, so I braided my hair straight back. I didn't have time to record that, but I did it. Just know it's there. Um, so right now, I just put my cap on, vibe into my doja. So my first step after I put my cap on, I'm going to cut little holes for my ears. So whenever I decide to spray it down, it can stay where it's supposed to stay at. Next, I'm going to go ahead and spray the Got To Be Free spray all over the edges of my hairline. Then I'm going to blow dry it until I feel like it's dry. Whenever you know it's dry, it'll be non-sticky. Okay, so I decided to let my uh, wig cap dry a little bit more on its own. But here's my wig. I just washed it. Um, in the previous video, I have a tutorial on how you can get the glue and the extra gunk off your wigs. Here I am blow drying my cap again because it still wasn't dry. It's very important that you make it dry because if you don't, your cap could roll back or it could slide back or anything. You don't want to do that under your wig. Okay guys, now that my cap is finally dry, I can start cutting. Um, I cut my cap in sections. I usually start in the middle of my forehead and then by my temples and then by my ears. I do that so the tension won't release all to one side in the cap so no rolling happens. Okay, right now what I'm doing is I'm lifting the cap up closer to my edges. Whenever I start feeling like a pull on my baby hairs, that's when I stop. And then I cut right there, right as close to the cap as I can.
So after I got all the excess cap off, right now I'm just going to clean the extra got to be spray off of my edge line. Okay, can y'all tell we get into the fun part now? I really hate the beginning process of it, but I love the ending. So right now I'm about to just um, put my foundation. Next, I'm going to put my um, wig on just to see where I want my part at. And then I'm going to braid the extra hair so it doesn't get in the way when I get ready to glue it down. Okay, so before it's time to glue it down, I want to brush all the baby hairs out of the way because for me, the baby hairs really get in the way. For when I try to glue it down, it gets all in the glue and it messes up my frontal. Okay, this is one of the last parts. Right now, I'm going to take my got to be gel, the black version. Um... There's a yellow version, but me personally, I like the black one. Uh, I'm just going to put it along my cap line and my hairline and where I want the lace to lay. Next, I'm just going to pull my wig down and set it on top of the glue, on top of where I want it at. I'm going to make sure my ears line up and my forehead lines up. Now that I've laid it all down, um, I accidentally did my baby hairs off camera, but this is how they look. Um, yeah. Me personally, I like to tie my edges down after I just put my frontal on so I can finish doing the rest of my hair. And then I'll just um, incorporate that into the rest of the hairstyle. But right now I need that to lay down. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what I need to work on. Tell me what you liked and tell me what you want me to do next.